Hi students, now we are discussing the chapter Coal and Petroleum. And today we are going to start with Some natural resources are limited. Fossil fuels such as coal, petroleum and natural gas cannot be created in the laboratory as it is not possible to create the natural conditions under which they are formed. Moreover, it takes thousands of years for them to be formed. And you know that these fossil fuels are exhaustible natural resources. The amount of these resources in nature is limited and can be exhausted by human activities. Fossil fuels will last only for a few hundred years. Fossil fuels are exhaustible resources which mean that they are not present in abundant quantities on the earth. They take thousands or millions of years to replenish. The rate at which they are being consumed today is increasing at a rapid pace. It means that more amounts of fossil fuels are being used than it is being replenished. Hence, scientists claim that fossil fuels will last only for a few hundred years. Why should we use fossil fuels economically? They are available in limited quantities. Burning these fossil, fossil fuels also cause air pollution as well as global warming. Hence, we should use these fuels economically to make sure that we can use them for a longer time. The risk of global warming gets reduced and we can live in a cleaner environment. What are the consequences of burning fossil fuels? Increase in air pollution. The first one is increase in air pollution. The burning of fossil fuels results in the release of unburned carbon particles in the air. Any unwanted particle in the air we can call it as air pollutant. Here unburned carbon particle is one air pollutant. These particles act as pollutants and increase air pollution. Fossil fuels release poisonous gases such as carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. Here, carbon particles, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide along with sulfur dioxide, all these three, all these four things are air pollutants. Thereby, that will lead to an increase in air pollution that is burning of fossil fuels result in an increase in air pollution. Global warming. Fossil fuels when burned release large amounts of carbon dioxide in the air. As the amount of carbon dioxide increases it results in an increase in the global temperature of the earth and that will lead to global warming. Here two main consequences or major consequences of burning fossil fuels that are increase in air pollution and the second one is global warming. How can we save petrol or diesel while driving? According to the Petroleum Conservation Research Association PCRA Petroleum Conservation Research Association in India we can save petrol or diesel while driving. They suggest some tips to save petrol or diesel while driving. The steps or the tips are first one, drive at a constant and moderate speed. Second is maintain tire pressure at correct levels. Third, switch off the engine at traffic light or at place where you have to wait. And the fourth one is do regular maintenance of your vehicle. That is all these four steps that will help to save petrol or diesel while driving. Hope you understood the concept. Now try to answer this question. The burning of fossil fuels causes air pollution. Explain it. The burning of fossil fuels causes air pollution. Explain. Explain. 